What is up, you guys? Uh, Trey here. This is going to be my last video of the night. But I am going to start a new series on this channel. Um, what the series is going to be is I'm just going to pull up a random stand up comedy video on YouTube. You know, like I. Now, this the first one I've seen, but I just want to watch it again, so I'm going to react to this one. But. I'm going to pull up a different one that I haven't seen, you know, from a different comedian every time and review it after, which this one, since I've already seen it, I'm going to review it before, but this is, he is very funny and I like him. Um, so this is going to be a whole series by itself. Uh, obviously I'm going to have to create a new playlist for that because it's not going to go into the reaction videos. Well, I think I'll put them there too, but... Without further ado, let's get into it. I know. I know. Let's be honest with ourselves for one second. Shit just got interesting. Okay. Now it's a party. Now we're in Montreal. And now we're here when there's actually good weather. I've been here. In the winter, y'all can fuck off, alright? I don't like your winter. I do not like it. I'm from Southern California. I am not used to it. You guys get snow. I don't like it. Uh, I was in Edmonton over the winter where they got a storm. When I say a storm, you had a foot and a half of snow in a day. And one day, foot and a half of snow. One day. And I'm on stage talking about it like this sucks. And everyone's in the audience is like, it's Edmonton. That's what fucking happens here, dearie. And I hated it. And no one got it. They're like, it's no big deal. It's just a foot and a half of snow. I am four feet fucking tall, okay? <laughs> it's a little different for me. Maybe you guys go out in the foot and half the snow, you trip, you fall, your knee gets wet. It's winter time! If I trip and fall in the foot and half the snow, I die. You understand how that works? I was scared. I went to one of those sporting goods stores. I bought one of those soccer flags. I just duct taped that shit to my back and just started walking around. People were making fun of me, but you look like a loser. Don't care. I'm going to live. <laughs> but I get it, though. I get why people are very excited when they see a little person. I understand. Because I'm not thinking about this all the time. I don't walk around all day in my head. Just, I'm making it, 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 I'm I get it, I get it. <laughs> Here's the thing though, I love being a little person because I bring so much happiness to people. Like you just see a dwarf and you're happy. It doesn't matter. We we, we bring happiness to all sorts of circumstances. Dwarves are like human bacon. Okay? We make everything better. No matter what the situation, the situation's boring. We make that better too. Yeah. Boring things. Grocery shopping. Nothing entertaining about grocery shopping. You guys do it. I do it. There's nothing fun about grocery shopping. But I buy one box of Lucky Charms. Holy shit! I mean, you're not laughing. You're not picturing this in your head right now. Could you imagine being in a grocery store? You look down an aisle. And I'm just walking down with my box of Lucky Charms. If you saw that, you'd be like, fuck it, I'm buying a lottery ticket. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> With all the joy I bring to people's lives, it's amazing to me that certain fears and misunderstandings still exist. And I say that fears because there is that specific fear. It's something called achondrophobia. It's a fear of little people, okay? It exists. It's out there. Trust me, I've seen it, which is mind-boggling to me, because, like, well, how the fuck could you be afraid of me? It's not like this shit is contagious, okay? I can't walk up to you, scratch your knee, and you go, I'm healthy. Like, it doesn't happen. I've been telling it a few times in my life, but nothing could have prepared me for the time I met a celebrity who has this fear, achondrophobia. Don't worry, I'll tell you who it is, okay? John Stamos. Yes, yes, 
Yes, that John Samos has a chondrophobia. I had no idea until I did a charity comedy show with Bob Saget. Bob Saget is co star from the show. Bob Saget shows up to this charity show with John Samos and Dave Coulier. They are still all friends, which is awesome. And I'm just waiting in my dressing room. All of a sudden, Bob Saget bursts into my dressing room just Brad, you have to go meet John Stamos. I'm like, yeah, I would love to meet John Stamos. I love the show Full House. He played Uncle Jesse, the character. You know, the band was called Jesse and the Rippers. And I, and I can't I would love to meet John Stamos. Because Brad, you don't get it. Stamos is terrified of little people. Well, then I know what I must do, Bob Saget. Plan goes into action. Saget runs into his dressing room. He starts distracting John Stamos. He turns his back to the door. When that happens, I know that's my cue. I run in. I see Stamos. I run up to him. I grab his leg. I start hopping. John Stamos looks down and sees me. I'm not going to lie. John Stamos screams like a bitch. Okay? He does. He looks at yeah, he's just taking his leg like this. He's just taking his leg like this. So I make it fly off like I'm a horny corpus landing or some shit. But I'm not flying off from that leg. Because I have little punk arms. And when I latch on, I fucking latch on. So now, I'm on his leg. She's dancing around like it's an Atticus off fire hose. This is the PBR. I'm holding on for eight seconds, motherfucker. Okay? And he's dancing around. The entire time this is happening, Bob Saget is on the floor laughing. And then in a moment, I could not write if you gave me a thousand opportunities, Dave Collier walks in the dressing room, sees me hopping Stamos' leg, and without missing a beat, just goes, hey, Brad, cut it out. Montreal, my name is Brad Williams. Thank you, guys. So much. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, that. Brad Williams is a very good stand-up comedian. I'm definitely going to be doing some recording tomorrow. I'm off of work, so I'll definitely be able to get to that. Uh, like I said, this is my last video tonight, but thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, by the way, I give this I give this one an 8 out of 10. It's it, definitely funny, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tap that bell so you get notified every time we upload. And until next time... Peace, you guys. I knelt to pray today, but no one was listening.